All right, guys, welcome post show. Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. Greetings and salutations. Uh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. We're going to do a reaction video, Tim. <laughs> We're like YouTubers of old, suddenly. Well, the new trailer for Bill and Ted 3, Bill and Ted Face the Music, came out today, mm -hmm. and I'm like, we got to watch that for the post show. It's hard to avoid it for a, an hour or so. Yeah. Like, it's it kept everywhere. popping up. Because everyone's excited about it. Yeah. We're going to watch it. Uh, that's coming up. Also, we're going to check out the uh, new uncensored version of Pearl Jam's Jeremy video. Uh, yeah. Now, the way I've heard it described is you find out what exactly happened in the school with Jeremy when uh, there was some sort of, I don't know if he whatever. killed himself, he shot students or whatever. Why did he bite the recess lady's breast? Yeah, yeah. How could I forget? Uh, <laughs> uh, so we're going to watch that coming up, but a couple show bits, <laughs> uh, show clips. I uh, need to do this. I need to do this. It's like a spaceship in here now. It, it, it really is. I've you, gotten things figured out. You've re-smitted the smith hole. <laughs> uh, I have. There's some new technology in here. I'm impressed. Uh, we. No, that's not it. I almost played Jeremy. Yeah. Um, no, it's... Uh, a, it, my new Bixer is like a rocket ship. I call yeah. it the USS Smith Hole. <laughs> yeah. I need massive training on it uh, in order to use it. I'm using old stuff right now because I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, it's serious. A uh, couple bits from the show we thought was fun. Uh, I don't know why CG masked sex is dumb and CGI sex is dumb. It but bummed me out, the whole idea of it. I know. We want real people uh, banging. I don't want to see uh, <laughs> cartoon computerized stuff. Let's talk about sex, baby. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I apologize. Is, are, uh, is that really the topic? Or yeah. Uh, uh, there was a new Harvard study. I have two separate uh, stories about banging. Uh, <laughs> the first one, a new Harvard study advises couples to wear masks and avoid kissing while oh, having yeah. sex. Come on. I'm just like, you know, whatever you think about the pandemic, not one single person is going to do that. Not one single person, unless they have some newfangled pandemic fetish that they got, oh thanks to God. Pornhub. You are so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's one. Uh, and it kind of coincides with the next story because uh, <laughs> he said they're like, they recommend to just wear masks. And somewhere someone's like picking up their weird like pleather leather mask thing going, hmm, <laughs> I'm protected from coronavirus. <laughs> uh, that same... Uh, scenario mask sex uh, could be uh, brought into the next story because, like I said, uh, TV and movie production starting up this Friday. Uh, big changes due to COVID-19 in movie and TV production. Uh, they are uh, making sure everybody is uh, wearing personal protective equipment on set. And as far as actors go in sex scenes, uh, they say in the uh, document from the Film Editors Trade Association that was kind of leaked, uh, says that any close contact moments, kissing, sex, will be uh, made with CGI. That's stupid. It will. That's just stupid. I, it, You're already, like, standing next to each other, talking to each other, doing all the acting things that you would do around one another. That's just... Stop it. Like, why don't you just spend a million dollars on CGI kissing? Like, that's stupid. It seems really dumb. I mean, I'm all for safety, and I think a lot of, like, all the salons and the gyms and stuff, yeah, obviously there's safety precautions. But for some things, like uh, what you're talking about there, that's just stupid. Like, you're you're literally wasting your time because there's no way to keep that safe when all the rest of it is unsafe. Yeah. I mean, there's no way to do it. I mean, you're going to have scenes uh, of yeah. people in front of each other's face screaming. There, there could be... Seems like that. whatever fighting or arguing. I mean, I don't get you it. really picked a topic to take stand on. That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> Man. we shall have real people having sex. Damn it. <laughs> the CGI is nonsense. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I don't. Hey, we saw it happen with Superman when they CGI'd away Henry Cavill's mustache. It looked like he had mush face. It was stupid. And so I can't imagine. They CGI'd his mustache off? Yeah, in the Justice League, they, he was shooting Mission Impossible and had to have a full beard. Oh, uh, yeah. And they were doing reshoots, and they couldn't get rid of his mustache. Like, he couldn't shave it off. <laughs> so they just did, oh, we'll CGI it. And the next thing you know, he just looks all... Uh, That's like, weird that they CGI'd out his mustache. Yeah. And the last Superman before that, they CGI'd out his wiener. 
<laughs> well, I guess <laughs> apparently it was gigantic. <laughs> Christopher Reeve. Christopher no, Reeve. No, the guy in between oh, who uh, played the uh, Brandon gay... Roth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played the gay porn star uh, in. Zack and Miri make porno. Not Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a good Superman joke in there, though. Yeah. Uh, also, we talked about uh, weird, weird, weird story with Chris Cuomo. It's naked guy naked. news. Always a naked person every day. It's celebrity naked guy news today, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tim, you're going to uh, Tim, gonna have to look this photo up because I did not. Uh, I did not save it for you to look at. Okay. Uh, CNN anchor Chris Cuomo, the brother of the governor of New York. The hell's that guy's name? Um, There's another Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a CNN anchor. Uh, apparently, his girlfriend was uh, doing a yoga video. I don't know if it was a live video. I don't know uh, anything about it other than it was a yoga video that his wife was filming. And there's a, a back porch window, back porch of the house. They must live in the countryside somewhere because on the other side of the window is what looks like Chris Cuomo uh, standing there nude uh with his ass facing the camera it just looks like he's standing outside in morning glory somehow you convinced me without thinking to type in chris cuomo naked on google and so that came up and uh and so there's there's this post like the, the where the sliding door post is yeah and that's what goes right where the crack would be so it's like his shoulders and like it's the just sides cheeks. of his hips. It's just, si- it's just sides of cheeks of Chris Cuomo. And I'm not zooming in on that. I mean, so uh, I wonder if he'd have turned around if they'd have showed his pierced nipples because that's the, the the no wait that's his brother that's that everybody Andrew, thinks that has, the governor, the governor has pierced nipples. I like their uh, definition in here. It says the 49 year old super fit newsman was allegedly seen on natural. <laughs> Yeah. Naked guy news every single day. Well, somebody naked. At least this. At least he wasn't committing a crime in this instance. Uh, a crime against nature is what that was. <laughs> <laughs> he should just do the news that way. He's probably going to catch so much hell from it. <laughs> yeah, at this point, uh, who knows? It's not family show. It's not family. Eh. Yeah, you can do anything at this point. You can stay That's on the news. Honestly, almost true. You can do anything. You can, you can do anything. You can now. be on TV. You could be the president. Who knows? I know. <laughs> Though I did see uh, one of the guys on the TV show The Flash. He got fired, and he had uh, in the last two or three seasons played and bear with me, elongated man. Like he basically was all stretchy. He was a superhero. Who is that again? I can't think of the guy's actual name, but he was played in elongated man. Got fired because they found tweets from like eight years ago, and uh, it was yeah. just like jokes about abusing his younger family and just racist stuff and just oh no you can fire him then yeah yeah, yeah it was pretty right. bad yeah. and uh i mean somebody somebody is screening the tweets they go back like 10 years or so it's got to be somebody's full-time job oh i know is there stuff uh, who knows like hammered twi- i thought tweeting, about it like i don't think eight, I got nine anything. years ago yeah, there's got to think... be something stupid I'd say I don't think I got anything, but I mean, mine goes back almost 10 years. I know it's not <laughs> abusive or racist. I know that much, but it might still be like at the very least bad jokes, like not funny jokes, yeah. like things I typed and went, what am I talking about? Like, Last uh, week, Pearl Jam released uh, the uncensored version of Pearl Jam's Jeremy. Anybody yeah. the worth their salt in uh, rock and roll has seen the video before. It's a big deal, that video, when it came out. It was a heavy, heavy subject matter, and mm-hmm. a lot of people... Uh, just thought it was too much it was devastatingly shocking to a lot of people yeah uh i don't know i think that was based on a real life event Something. i think it was yeah uh but pearl jam with the current state of affairs pearl jam decided to release the uncensored version of jeremy which actually shows you specifically what went down in the classroom yeah in the jeremy video so we're gonna watch that now i think we're gonna have to chop up the video a little bit i don't want to get nailed for copyright or anything so mm, yeah. uh, we will i'll try to show the what uh, we can. the shocking part so fyi could be not safe we might jump up round <laughs> yeah uh so here you go uncensored pearl jam jeremy okay And the news media was a lot more. It is very relevant in America today. Do 
you think uh, the uh, I wonder about people that hate Pearl Jam because I think, dude, that, that band is so good. Oh, yeah. The rhythm section, Mike McCready is a shredder. Eddie Vedder is one of the best rock singers of all time. Like people that don't like Pearl Jam, I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm honestly never met anyone. I've never oh, met no, anyone I've that was like oh, Pearl Jam. It's more, uh, it's okay. Like the very worst they get is, eh, they're all right. Like, and, and even then, I'm like, I don't get it, man. They're they're <laughs> No. Especially these first couple albums, like Jeremy and, and off of Ten oh, and Versus. Classic and, albums. Yeah. Especially Ten. Uh, or that one that just hit album. me in another All realm, the way through. dude. You yeah. listen to the whole thing. I think we should say i think we should say I, it, they censored it for a reason yeah you know so i mean anybody that is is watching that is doesn't want to see horrible things yeah. i mean may want to stop watching mm -hmm. i don't know Kind of thought it was going there. Uh, it's heavy, man. Yeah. It's and, heavy, and man. literally the only uncensored part of it was that uh, like three seconds at the end there. It was showing I mean, exactly, exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. It was left up to uh, listener or audience mm -hmm. interpretation. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. tough. You can see why they censored that. Well, yeah. that is a bummer. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't I don't know how else to say no, it. I, I was thinking, I'm glad it's put out there. But. I was like, oh man, maybe we should have saved that to last because yeah. uh, we get to watch a Bill and Ted 3 trailer now and don't, don't go from one to the other. You know, the thing with the, the Pearl Jam though, it's like, hey, don't bully. I mean, same message today as it was no, in 1991. And just to and, expound on it, like I have really close people to me mm -hmm. that have lost children recently due to suicide, mm -hmm. and it's just and you see how it affects people, and it shakes you, man. When you yeah. see how much it affects people, yeah. it shakes you, and it, it, it's just one of those things. I mean, there's so many people to talk to, and there's so many, especially yeah. now with everything going on, that shit is going up. Yeah. I'm sure in oh, the yeah. pandemic and and Black Lives Matters and all this stuff that's going on. So much stress. Teenagers, teenagers anyway, have a really hard time dealing with life because mm -hmm. I like I read a, a, a medical report once and it said that uh, you could almost classify teenagers as like clinically retarded uh, because there's the growth of the brain, there's the raging <laughs> hormones, and they can't think 
Uh, it's not there yet. They can't think logically. Yeah. So you add on all of this stuff. You add on bullying and social media and all. It's got to be worse than ever to be a teenager. I can only imagine. Yeah. A teenager highlight, though, uh, was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> what a segue. What a Turn segue. Right. <laughs> what a segue, man. That's all right, though. We needed that. We still got some fun stuff in the video. Uh, man, I'll tell you what. This was a highlight for me as a teenager. It is one of those things I hold near and dear. Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Bogus Journey was good, but eh, it's like uh, the first good. one. It's still so funny to watch George Carlin in one of his best roles, yeah. uh, who has passed away. Uh, and I think they're making that a storyline uh, for three, which we're going to watch the trailer here. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I did worked at Right Brain Brewery last year, and I was working with events yeah. uh, there. And I put on Bill and Ted Day. We showed Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah. It was so fun. We na renamed all the beers after like Bill and Ted things. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Ben Wild Wayton. Stallions. When is this out? This is, well, I don't know. Supposed to be like August. Okay. I don't know if they're still going to do that. Well, here we go. Let's do the trailer for Bill and Ted 3. Right. I've been waiting all day. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 25 years ago, you played a concert in front of the entire world. One month ago, you played in Barso, California for 40 people, most of whom were there for $2 taco night. <laughs> Bill and Ted. What have you got to say for yourselves? Be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. <laughs> you were supposed to unite the world and save reality as we know it. Bill, we've spent our whole life trying to write the song that will unite the world. Why can't we just go to the future when we have written it? Whoa! Take it from ourselves. But isn't that stealing? <laughs> How is that stealing? We're stealing it from ourselves, dude. <laughs> no way. How'd you like our song? <laughs> it's a little on the dark side, but you know, that's cool. The hell? I don't know, <laughs> dude. I don't know. Summer all 2020, know, it still all says. Is, all I know is that has not deterred me one single bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm all in, dude. Uh, don't, Keanu Reeves is maybe having a hard time pulling off dumb guy things. It's not like he's not <laughs> stupid anymore. I love Keanu Reeves, man. He was always whoa. Yeah, he was my favorite because he's yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, that looks fun. That looks fun. It's just good to see him back doing things. I'm sure there's a reason they're in the phone booth and they Rufus is gone. The character Carlin played. Yeah. Basically, their Wild Stallion song did not go as planned. Is and there a date on it? It says, it says summer, summer 2020. 2020. That's all you got. But they had, uh, basically, the German guys in prison there were Bill and Ted from the yeah. future. Yeah. But or from the future or alternate dimension. We could have alternate dimensions knows? now. Who knows? Legit. Wild Stallions. I uh, That made me happy. <laughs> that made me as happy as I knew it would. It teased. Yep. That's what they call it, a teaser trailer. It teased. All right, guys, another um, post-show Thursday. The gamut of emotions. It was every, all over the place. I got so many emotions. Yeah. What the hell? Everything!